Hey what's up everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to install Android Studio. Now for installing Android Studio, you basically require three softwares. First is the Java Runtime Environment or JRE. Second is the Java Development Toolkit or JDK. And lastly is the Android Studio software itself. Now in majority of the systems, you will basically have the Java Runtime installed from start. Okay, you can actually go inside your control panel and check whether you have the java runtime environment installed or not if you don't have it don't worry in this video i'll be basically showing you how you can install the java runtime environment jdk as well as the android studio so first open up your google chrome browser now after opening google chrome you will download the java runtime environment so just type in jre download okay so i will just type in over here after this okay just click on the link which says oracle okay as you can see at the bottom i have this link from file hippo so please make sure that you download the links from oracle only now once i come to this site at the bottom i have the option of java se runtime environment 7u79 and just below that i have the option of java runtime environment 7u80 now 7u80 is the latest version basically at the time of this recording so just click on accept license agreement now after you click on accept license agreement you'll basically see a list of operating systems being listed over here from Linux Mac Solaris and Windows I have a Windows operating system and it is a 64-bit system so I'll just go down over here and if you see over here I have Windows x64 but one is a .exe file and second is a .tar.gz file which is basically like a zip file okay i'll go ahead and click on this link which says jre7u80 windows x64.exe so it will download the .exe file which i have to install manually so once your jre has been downloaded next let's go ahead and install the jdk so i will just type in jdk download for windows 64 bit now i'll right click on this link and open it in new tab so let's see whether it opens up the file or not okay so as you can see this says java se development kit 7 so if you go down so if i come to java se development kit 7u80 you can find at the bottom it's showing me windows x64 the jdk file is almost around 140 mb so again i'll click on accept license agreement after that i'll click on download jdk 7u80 so i can just click on this file please make sure guys you just go in the java se development kit 7u80 not in the java se development kit 7u80 demos and samples now then once you have downloaded the jdk as well as the jre it's now time to download the android studio software so i'll go ahead and type in android studio download so as you can see the very first link that I'm getting over here, it will basically redirect me to developer.android.com website and it will just show me the direct link from where I can download Android Studio. So I'll click on download Android Studio for Windows. Next I'll go down, I'll click on I have read and agree with the about terms and condition. After that I'll click on download Android Studio for Windows. Now do not worry guys, the process for installing Android on Windows as well as Mac is almost the same. There are just minor modifications in the process. So now as you can see over here, I have the JRE, JDK as well as the Android Studio software listed on my desktop. So first I'll go ahead and install the JRE. Click on install. So this will start installing JRE on your system. So this basically shows me a close button at the bottom which says you have successfully installed Java. So I'll click on the close now. Now once my JRE is installed, next I'll install the JDK. Now I'll click on next. Next. So this will take some time to install. So this will basically ask me where will the JDK be installed. So I'll 
just click on next I won't change the folder so once the entire JDK installation is complete you will get this close button so click on the close button over here now let's go ahead and install Android Studio so I'll double click on the Android Studio icon now this will basically sh so now you have come to the android studio setup window so the first thing you'll do is click on next again click on next you'll be installing android studio android sdk as well as android virtual device after that click on i agree now this is the most important part if you want you guys can just take a screenshot of this file because this is where your main android studio files will be installed mine is in c program files android slash android studio and at the bottom this basically shows you where your SDK will be installed that is the software development kit required for running your Android studio properly so please make a note of where your Android studio files are getting installed and where is your SDK folder getting installed you can just leave this as it is you do not need to make any changes in this folder you can just leave it as it is so click on next again okay click on install so now as you can see the installation process is almost getting completed over here okay so this shows basically the installation is complete so now I'll click next I'll hit finish but let me tell you one more important thing guys now please make sure that you have a very stable and fast internet connection because after installing Android Studio Android Studio will start to download the required SDKs so what I mean by SDK you will understand it in the next few parts so I'll hit finish now so as you can see now since the android studio has been installed android studio will start right now so now as i was telling you about software development kit so over here i have two options first i want to import my settings from a custom location so if in case you're using android studio previously and if you have the entire sdk folder then what you can do is you can click on this option you can hit over here and then you can just choose the path where your sdk is stored now I'm assuming you're installing Android Studio for the first time. So first time users click over here which says I do not have a previous version of Studio. I do not or I do not want to import my settings. After that click OK. So now the Android Studio window is loading again. So now guys, as you can see over here, this is basically downloading the minimum software development kit required for my Android Studio to work properly. So after the installation is done, click on the finish button. That's it. Congratulations. You have successfully installed Android Studio in your Windows system. And guys, as I mentioned before, first, please make sure you install the JDK and the JRE after that, install Android Studio. If you install Android Studio without installing JDK and JRE, then Android Studio will not install properly inside your system. So if you're a complete beginner to Android and Android Studio, let me take few minutes of your time and tell you which are the Android applications and topics I'll be covering in this Android Tutorials for Beginners video series. First, we'll create a very basic Hello World application and talk about activity lifecycle. After that, we'll create applications that will cover the following components in Android like buttons, toggle button, switch button, checkboxes, radio button, progress bar, rating bar, spinners, list view, testing different Android themes, etc. Next, we'll look at the different layouts in Android like relative layout, linear layout, frame layout, grid layout, table layout, etc. After that, we'll create some advanced application that will cover the following topic Login page, text to speech, gallery, Android databases, web browser, grid view, recycler view, menus, playing music, playing music and video files, taking pictures through camera, sending SMSs, making phone call, notifications, post notifications dialog boxes, speech to text, creating a splash screen, creating a live wallpaper, working with Google Maps API, working with an extra meter, connecting your Android application to the cloud, 
working with the navigation menu and last but not the least Android's very own material design. So these are just few of the topics that are mentioned over here. So then I'm here and excited to share my Android knowledge with all of you guys. And if you're excited to learn and add a new skill to your arsenal, then subscribe to my channel and let's get started. In the meantime, if you like this video, then please feel free to hit the like button. And if you're interested in learning Android, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.